What is going on everybody? My name is Mr. Relics. Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how you can separate your music track on your OBS and make it so when the video after you've streamed goes live on Twitch, that track will not be present on, in the VOD. So if you want to play some music on your live stream but you don't want that to be live on the actual VOD itself, this video is for you. But first, a quick message from this video sponsor. If you're thinking about becoming a YouTuber, or maybe you've been making content for a while, TubeBuddy can help you kickstart your journey. With powerful SEO tools to help you get more views and subscribers, bulk processing tools to help cut down on mundane tasks, as well as powerful tools to help you understand your YouTube analytics. TubeBuddy is a must-have addition for any YouTuber's tool belt. To access TubeBuddy's full range of features, including newly added click magnet, click the link in the description. So this is me pretending that I'm streaming right now. I have a separate audio source for my Spotify. So when I want to play some music, it will go through completely separate. If you want a tutorial on that, check my last video. And I want to make sure that the only audio that goes through and lands on the VOD page will be the headset audio, uh, the game audio, potentially my Discord. I, I basically don't want Spotify on there at all. So how do we do it? Well, if you're using OBS Studio, you want to go down and you want to hit settings. Once you're in settings, you want to go to uh, output and you might find that you are on simple mode. You want to switch that to advanced and here you'll see Twitch VOD track. If you tick that and then leave it on its default, which is two, you can change it to three, four, five or six, whatever you want to do. It's going to basically make it so only audio sources that are on track two are going to go to Twitch. Anything that's on track one, uh, like this, will be on stream, but track two will only be on the VOD. So we can apply that. Next thing we're going to want to do is make sure that the actual audio source itself is on track two. And how do we do that? Well, we can go to Edit, Advanced Audio Properties, or you can go to your audio mixer. You can right click on any of them and press advanced audio properties as well. And you want to just go scroll down and find the audio track that you want to hide from Twitch. In my case, this is Spotify main and I've got it set so it's present on track one. So it will appear on stream. So when I'm live, people can hear it and they can redeem my channel points so they can skip the song, etc. But once that vid goes live on Twitch, because I haven't got track two selected, that audio track's not going to appear. Now you can do this with more than just one track, it doesn't have to be just music, it can be your Discord chat for example. Maybe you don't want your uh, your friends to appear on the VOD, so you, you turn that off. Maybe you don't want the the game to appear, so you can, you can turn that off. You can do it with any source, it doesn't matter. Um, as long as it's in the settings, you've got Twitch VOD set to track, and then whatever that's set to, so if it's set to 4, you want to make sure it goes all the way up to six. You want to make sure that whatever one it's on. So if it's if it's set to track four, you want to make sure track four is off. It's good practice probably just to turn them all off because track one is going to be your main source. Track two is, is usually going to be your, your Twitch VOD source. But that's it. Literally, that's all you need to do. That's how you do it. Simple as that. I hope this video helped. If it did, make sure you give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe because I make content all the time talking about streaming tips, especially with regards to OBS Studio. If that sounds like something you're interested in, I'd love to have you join the family. But until next time, take it easy.